You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Sheena Monin, and here with me on the show this week is Melanie Rock, West Bloomfield resident and agility dog trainer and competitor. Melanie, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. This is a really interesting topic to me. I love dogs. I love all animals. And today we're going to be discussing what agility dog training and competing is. You have a lot of experience there. We'll get into your awards later on. But to start off, for those watching, what is agility dog training? Dog agility is running a dog through an obstacle course. So the handler gets eight minutes to walk the course and plan their strategy of how they're going to communicate which way the dog should go at a high speed. Okay, great. So basically, it's sort of like you're working with your dog to get them to the end goal, but it's a fun thing for them because they have to go up and down and all around yes. and, and through little like tunnel things. Yep, they yeah. do the jumps, tunnels, weaves, all the obstacles, uh, the handler, just body language and verbals. The dog should take the obstacle, so it's a lot of fun. Wow, it sounds like it, because dogs have lots of energy normally anyhow. So if it's just your body language communicating to them, how do you train them to get to that level? You have to find something they really enjoy, either treats or toys or a lot of verbal praise. And just over time, adding more and more obstacles together, they'll, they'll do it. Great, so you have had a lot of success doing this. Uh, tell me a little bit about an international award, a couple of awards that you won recently. Uh, recently, me and my dog Puma, a Border Collie, got to travel to Spain and Italy this past year for being on the United States World Team. And we got a bronze in individual jumping, a bronze in team. Okay, great, what does that mean, individual jumping? So, just me and him, we're our team, and the course was jumps, tunnels, and weaves that he had to do uh, in a row. And whoever gets a clean run, meaning no faults, no bars, or missed jumps, with the fastest time wins. Wow, amazing. And then you were part of a larger team? Yes, yeah, so then they take the entire team, uh, all the scores combined against uh, different countries, mm. people from all over with their dogs, uh, internationally compete and quite a few people travel from very far. Wow, it sounds so cool. Do you know what the course is going to be beforehand or do they just spring it upon you? They spring it upon you. You watch them build it and then you get eight minutes to walk it and plan your strategy. The dog sees it for the very first time. Wow, so there has to be a lot of like communication there, a lot of trust there. Wow, fascinating. I love that. So you've had so many interesting experiences. You've, I'm sure, bonded so deeply with your dog. For those who are watching, what are some of the takeaways that you can offer to them or for spectators in the crowd? Because I've seen a couple of things like this before, and it's super amazing. It's really fun to be with your dog and to be competitive with an animal. Mm -hmm. And whether or not you want to take it to a competitive level, the training is really what makes you, you just enjoy being with them and w learn how each other figures out what it is that you're trying to show. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think a lot of people truly enjoy first and then get carried away into more competitive areas of it. Is that what happened with you or how did you get to this level? Like, how long did it take you? I have always been competitive. I grew up doing horses and this was something that um, came natural having the dogs, you know, involved in such uh, obstacle courses and just a little bit more advanced training. Um, I never in originally intended to take it to this competitive at of a level and, and stick with it as long, but once you really find out how much the dogs love it and it's good exercise, it's good mental stimulation for them, it's something that's really very, very enjoyable. Nice. So have you competed with the same dog or have you used different dogs? Different dogs. Oh, I have, okay. Um, my couple of first, first dogs competed with were Boxer and a Doberman, and then I got into the Border Collies. You just want a dog that's uh, really willing to play and active, and it helps that they're physically fit. Yeah, for sure. So for those watching and myself as well, if your dog is able to do it, it sounds like it will help you guys bond on a much deeper level and give the dog something fun to do as well as the owner. I love that. It really does. Great. Thank you for being here today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. 
Once again, everyone, we've been speaking with Melanie Rock, West Bloomfield resident and agility dog trainer and competitor. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.